This is what our room looks like. Everything in the house is flooded, guys. I'll show you around. This is where we stayed the whole time in Chris's closet. Because if you notice, that's the only part that's glass. Everything else is solid, like block. <laughs> uh, so we felt safer here. And see Scott naman in his own room, far from the windows. That's how we placed everything so that at least makapagtulog din siya. I also got this from the back of the gawa. Massage chair. Yeah, it's soaked. Oh. And then I took out all the plugs because everything was plugged and everything was soaked. So I took it all out and then I went properly. All right, great. So we're at the Kameda. We still have power, but this is our entire house is as if umulan dito sa loob. All like muddy water, muddy water there. That part is leaking so bad. I think there's roof damage. Um, but check out our basement area. We have our generator running. There's no power. Sus. but uh, my room is wet I don't know if you can see it it's flooded everywhere that there's a window water somehow went in no matter how we tried to seal it it still came in it's flooded here tapos there's like a tree branch outside I don't know if you can see it but there's a tree branch hanging. Our trellis, there's like two siguro, three. Leaves everywhere. This is inside, mm -hmm. we can see outside. It's dead. Oh no. There's like a tree hanging from our trellis. We're so lucky that even though we live in a glass house, there's no guys. Basa. This is an indoor area and Basayong doors. So we're so lucky that even though we're in a glass house, um, none of the glass broke. Uh, some of our relatives, um, the office of Light Block Buhal, which has a glass door, it broke also. And we're also so lucky that Scotty just slept through the whole thing. Wala siyang dinaanan or hindi siya nagising and he wasn't disturbed by it. Because it was a fairly traumatic experience for us. One of the most scared I've been in my entire life so in yung level there's wind everywhere um right now it's damage control so even here there's like stones everywhere we were wondering where this came from it's like on the floor and everything it's in our room uh napansin namin it's coming from there because the house was shaking so bad yung dun sa dulo nag crack siya and like Small pieces of mortar started to like fall down. First, kala namin yung glass yung nasira. This guy, whole time champion, really, really good girl. Meron pa dito. Wherever there's like glass or like connection in the house, most likely may leak. So, kanina, we tried to tie up a towel pa kanina because it was a small leak. Ngayon, wala na. Love, I feel like it's such a mess outside. They say they heard something hit my car. Uh, but it's pitch black. Cebu, guys, is total blackout. There's no signal. No there's no Wi-Fi. There's no electricity. There's no Globe yeah. or any other service provider. And so you can't communicate with anyone. We don't know how our family's doing. Our helpers don't know how their family's doing. Oh, uh, uh, actually, parang the last I heard is that pati si Veco, the the Cebu version of Meralco, is uh, medyo having a hard time also to get the power back so it might take a while though. It's 
like 11 o'clock, we feel like the typhoon has finally died down, so we're vacuuming all the flood water. Uh, this is a pretty good vacuum because it can vacuum like liquids. <laughs> In engineering school, you're told na sige, ang tubig is gonna go sideways. But this isn't going sideways. This went, went up talaga and everywhere. So like, it's all over the house. This is the first time we've had this type of leak ever. Like nothing close to this. So we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna wake up tomorrow early. I'm actually scared of what tomorrow may bring. Not only about the damage outside, but about your the last you heard of your sister they were hiding in the stock room na kasi like, it was super like, like all the glass in their house got broken and even our even my my dad yung bahay nila was flooding though even if we're in the mountain it was flooding so uh i hope everyone is safe I'm more worried about the mga families yeah, there's, there's there's room, Marlin's house, Dreen said earlier tonight, like at 7 p.m. before the storm opened us, that not the corral of their house already flew. So, and then it's only her mom there. Even our house felt like it was gonna collapse. Yeah. Ganyang level. Like I yeah. thought like all the glass was gonna get smashed. I actually told Chris now I don't care if the house would be ruined as long as we're safe while we were hunkered up in the closet but good thing na ito lang mga cosmetic damage lang but you're just staring at Scott's CCTV yeah the whole time the whole time yeah so but he didn't even feel anything so it's good there's leaks pa here oh, oh I'll get the towel. it's coming from the ceiling oh so it's like leaks everywhere but that's the most of it I think we're very very lucky what time is it? I hope it's fast it's like 11 plus So it's daytime and uh, we don't have sleep, but apparently we were one of the lucky ones. My man counting damage, but in the house of my mom, sobrang sira. Uh, some of our relatives, sobrang sira din, like roofs flying, glass broken everywhere. So I haven't seen the total damage of our house, but his was out kanina and then we made it. We have a lot to do. Broken, there's like trees everywhere. And then there, like the fence is broken. That tree is now bald, and we have some debris. We have to clean up. It's like things from our roof na hindi kailangan namin, but uh, it's new. Whoa, there's a huge tree on our roof, the breeze everywhere, or oh, there's like a roofing sheet that probably hit my car. Okay, so I just heard like all the cars at my mom's house destroyed. Uh, parang dalawa lang ata out of there's, there's like five of them in the E1 tapos luckily our car is intact but ch check this out guys we are so lucky that that didn't go any further I think it came from this here it's like broken everywhere but sobrang swerte namin we'll take a look from the other side it's a huge tree Oh. oh, what is this? There's like debris, random debris everywhere. This isn't ours. This That's came okay. from somewhere. No. But our roof is here. Part of our roof. Part of our roof? Yeah, like in black metal sheets. Like, I think the heater's a pool. Uh, those. Those are like 
pool heaters, but we're not using them. It wasn't even attached to anything. So, okay lang. A lot of people are actually texting me <laughs> that we can help them because they know that we have, like, people. So, that's my job for today. Even my mom's like, ask Lady this, ask Lady that. I'm like... Our pool is looking like that. Uh, I don't know what it's that black thing is. I think I, it's also from our pond. The pool heater heating, thing, yeah. yeah. It's a swamp and there's like debris there, Pao. We're so lucky about this chalice though. Sobrang swerte natin, like, if that flew here to, to this panel, biak. Everything but, would break because of the pressure. Yeah, and probably, like, I was telling Chris that sobrang swerte natin that these were tempered glass, but this was shaking like crazy. I actually told Chris that I don't care as long as we're safe. That's the level, but we're lucky enough na, ano, But I would say super lucky because look at this. Uh, look at that. That tree sa labas, yung sobrang laking tree. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's literally like a few inches from our glass panels so imagine if something broke or like, like it's a glass broke wala sira na yung buong bahay so i'm here at the top of our roof uh, that's a big ass tree that flew from most likely there but there's like other trees everywhere the gutter is flooded, I have to clean it up. That's why it was leaking last night. But mending mga ito yung pool heater na, but we never used it, so I'll just take it out. But then yung mga solar panels naman and jin pa. But I feel like it's not functioning, I'll see. Check this out guys. That's why there was a leak last night. Something went through our home. That's a crazy hole. <laughs> brought by last to seal to seal up nah, no, the leaks <laughs> take a look at this <laughs> like we were extremely lucky uh, like oh, oh my god a lot of people are calling me and even new office now in big damage though but I have to check pa. The, that's the sofa from the tree house and all the other parts. Also there. Tree house parts. <laughs> tree house parts. That's the table from the tree house. So the tree house is gubak gide gayo. What not the tree house? No, the whole thing. Shh. It doesn't exist. These used to be flower lined and now they're all gone. This is Daddy's cactus garden. It's empty. The pine trees are gone. The swing is gone. The garage is gone. This used to be a roofed garage. Look at all the pine trees. The leaves are all here. Look at that. It's gone. All the cars are damaged. The Scott pod completely flew out. No more tree house. Look at that, it's gone. Look at the swing. They had to tie the main door to this heavy object in this log because it's a big Everything is bolted to the floor. 
they bolted everything bolt 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 because it was opening kagabi no more tree house the wolf blew it down this used to be where the tree house was and Ito na lang, roof na lang niya ang nakikita. All the rest are below sa so, so road. Scott, what's up to Scott? Pagpadong nirikita siya sa mga storybook. Google ka siya. People. Where's the tree house, Scott? Where's the tree house? You go up to the tree house. Patay! Patay! Let's go to the tree house. One, go up! This is what it looks like from outside Scotty's room. Everything is flat. It used to be like like a forest. Oof. Anyway, guys, I have a lot to do. So I'm looking at damage to the office and factory. I'm in and. Um, we have a lot of family members to help. But then, rin yung mga kasambahay namin yung mga bahay nila sirang sirado. So, we try to help out. And anyway, we can. I would say, like, again, super suerte kami. Like, everyone else we've heard is has much greater damage. I just wanted to make this video because uh, a lot of the people in Manila actually, like, parang, parang are messaging us as if, like, hey, you meet your deadline, Bus business as usual. Pero parang, dude. <laughs> Sirang sira yung buong Cebu or like everything that yeah. So I don't even know when to upload this. Yeah. So at least like it, it we were able to show like what's the situation really here in Cebu. But then lang si Scott was super safe last night. So that's like our number one worry. But uh, yeah, we're just happy to have each other and happy that. Uh, we're safe, but anyway, guys, I'll see you later.